Okie dokie. Today we're going to learn about the mythology and lore of the stone giants known as Saxa Woman in Incan mythology. We're going to talk about their creation by the god Viracocha, their initial purpose, rebellion, and eventual destruction. And we'll explore the remnants of these giants in the Andean landscape and Viracocha's subsequent creation of humans. So let's get into this. In Incan mythology, Viracocha stands as the great creator god, a figure who brought life and order to the world among his many creations. The stone giants hold a special place in the legends. Viracocha fashioned these giants from stone, imbuing them with incredible strength and size. Unlike other beings that were to come later, these giants weren't made from common materials like clay or flesh. The stone was chosen intentionally to signal their permanence and durability, fitting their role as the first inhabitants of the earth. These stone giants were designed to be the early caretakers of the world. Viracocha intended them to roam the landscapes, maintain order, and set the stage for the creatures and humans that would follow. With their enormous size and strength, it made them ideal candidates for this initial task, allowing them to shape the environment in preparation for future inhabitants. These giants, these colossal figures, were fantastic marvels of their time, setting the groundwork for what the world was to become. This early race was more than just a myth. They were the embodiment of Viracocha's power and foresight, tasked with preparing the earth for its future children, the humans. The story of these incredible beings offers a glimpse into the grand plans that Viracocha had for the world from the very beginning. Viracocha had a grand vision. He crafted these stone giants with a very specific purpose in mind. They were the first inhabitants of the world. And at the dawn of time, before the existence of humans, these giants were meant to roam the earth, bringing life and activity to the newly formed land. The giants were designed to populate the earth and serve as the initial race of beings. And Viracocha envisioned a world bustling with these powerful giants, each one a symbol of his creative prowess. They were expected to bring order to the world and establish the foundations of civilizations. Through the creation of the stone giants, Viracocha aimed to set a precedent for future beings. He hoped that these giants would live harmoniously, adhering to the natural laws he put in place. Their lives were supposed to exemplify strength, resilience, and the ability to coexist with nature. But the giants' role was more than just populating the land. They were also part of an experiment by Viracocha to see if stone could carry the spirit of life. These beings were an essential step in his plan to create more intricate and adaptable forms of life, leading up to the creation of humans. The giants weren't just a part of the landscape, they were the first chapter in the story of creation as envisaged by the great god Viracocha. Over time, the stone giant's heart shifted. What started as loyalty morphed into defiance. The giants began to question and challenge their creator. Their rebellion was not a minor squabble or mere disobedience, it was a full-blown revolt. These beings of immense strength and stature tried to assert their own will against the very god who formed them. They refused to adhere to the order and harmony that Viracocha had envisioned, and day by day their actions grew more rebellious and their defiance more pronounced. Viracocha, the all-powerful creator, watched as his once-admired creations turned into a source of great discontent. The god who impressed life into stone felt the sting of betrayal, and this rebellion wasn't just a personal affront. It symbolized chaos, undermining the very foundation of Viracocha's world. The defiance of these giants reached a tipping point. Viracocha's patience wore thin as the giants' insolent behavior escalated. They disregarded the laws and balance set by their creator, causing disruption and turmoil across the land. Their disregard for their divine maker was unacceptable. Viracocha knew that something had to be done. He couldn't allow their rebellion to go unpunished, and the defiance needed to be quelled. Order had to be restored. The great god's anger brewed, leading him to decide on a punishment so severe that it would etch the consequence of rebellion into the annals of history. And this set the stage for a catastrophic event that would change the fate of the stone giants forever. Their insurrection had provoked a response that only a god could deliver, which led to their downfall. Viracocha, furious with the stone giants for the rebellion, decided to bring upon them a great disaster. This wasn't just any disaster, it was an event so catastrophic it would change everything. Viracocha summoned a colossal flood, which the Inca called the Unu Pashakuti, a deluge so mighty it seemed that the heavens and earth were united under a vast ocean. The floodwaters rushed in with unstoppable force engulfing the giants and their world. 
The Giants, who once stood proud and defiant, were no match for the relentless waves. The cities that were carved into stone in the mountains and the valleys were all at the mercy of this destructive force. It was as if nature itself conspired to wipe the giants from existence. Only a few stone giants managed to survive this devastation, but the survivors weren't spared out of mercy. They remained as living testimonies to remind future beings of Viracocha's might and the dire consequences of rebellion against their creator. There are some legends that say these few giants were turned into immobile stone statues, frozen in time to eternally witness the world around them change while they remain unmoving and unchanging. These frozen statues stand as silent sentinels in the Andean landscape, their presence a stark reminder of the giants' rise and fall. The tale of Unu Pashakuti teaches that no one can withstand the wrath of the gods and that every act of defiance has its price. One of the more interesting parts of the mythology surrounding the giants is the notion that Viracocha, as punishment for the rebellion, transformed the giants into stone. These giants were turned into cold, lifeless statues. The legend doesn't stop at just a warning. It also reflects the deeply held belief in the transformative power of gods within Incan mythology. The stories aren't just about punishment. They highlight the ultimate power that deities hold over the physical and spiritual worlds. And for the Incas, the landscape itself was imbued with stories, lessons, and divine actions. Even today, the remnants of the stone giants are believed to be scattered throughout the Andean landscape. These large stone formations and statues are often linked to the ancient myths of the Saxe woman, representing the once formidable giants crafted by Viracocha. If you were going to visit the Andes, you'll probably come across these massive stone structures. It's said that these stones serve as reminders of the giants who once roamed the land, and the landscape is dotted with impressive megalithic structures, many of which have intricate carvings and unique shapes that make you question their origins. The walls of Saxe woman in Cusco are often associated with the stone giants. The walls are made of enormous boulders, some of which weigh several tons, cut and fit together with remarkable precision. Locals and historians alike often attribute these constructions to the myths surrounding the giants, seeing them as lasting evidence of their existence and their rebellion against Viracocha. In addition to the walls, there are also scattered statues and stone monoliths that further fuel the myths. Some of these stone figures are so large and lifelike it's not hard to imagine them once being living giants, frozen in time, turned to stone by the Great Flood or directly by Viracocha himself. Their presence stands as a testament to the legends passed down through generations. These stone structures aren't just captivating for their myths, they offer a glimpse into the rich history of the Andean people. The reverence for the stone giants and their story is a significant part of the local heritage. When people see these colossal stones, they don't just see the rocks, they see the embodiment of myths that explain the creation. After the destruction of the stone giants, Viracocha wasn't done creating life. He turned his attention to crafting a new species, one that he hoped would be a better fit for the world he envisioned. This time, instead of stone, he used clay. Legends say that Viracocha carefully shaped humans from this humble material, infusing them with life and filling them with the spirit and energy needed to thrive on earth. Viracocha hoped that these new beings would be more obedient than the giants It would not repeat the same mistakes. They were given the ability to speak, learn, and grow, and were designed to be more adaptable and harmonious with the world around them. The Creator God instilled in humans the capacity for intelligence and creativity, qualities that he thought would set them apart from the rebellious giants. These humans were meant to not only populate the world, but also to care for it. Viracocha wanted them to live in harmony with nature and the divine, maintaining a balance that the stone giants had disrupted with their defiance. According to Incan lore, this balance was crucial for the world to function properly and for life to flourish. Through these actions, Viracocha took a risk, betting on the potential for human beings to create a harmonious existence. And while the myths don't tell us everything about the early days of humanity, they do emphasize the importance of obedience and respect for the creators and the world they made. Viracocha's story is a testament to the belief in second chances and the hope that through new beginnings, better futures can be built. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for listening. If you like it, hit that subscribe button for us. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Other than that, have a great day.